Discarded fabric, not good enough to stash, even for scraps. Rescued from the trash can, small bits of texture and hue, sewn and sashed, piece by piece, every stitch by hand, until it's beautiful enough, worthy enough, to cloak you. It's my way of touching you, to tell you God sees you. You are beautiful. You are worthy. Wrap yourself in that truth. Quilting is the one thing that just stops me dead and I can sit for hours actually and I can it makes me it gives me time to think listen if someone else is in the room it's really good for me because it just makes me sit still and be present and uh, but also be creative at the same time I heard about this organization called Sleep in Heavenly Peace and they make bunk beds for kids in the city that don't have a bed. So I contacted Jim Thiessen who runs it and uh, asked if I could contribute some quilts. Now that I'm quilting for Sleep in Heavenly Peace, it's even better because then there's a, a purpose. You know, there's only so many quilts you can make your, for your family over the years or for Christmas gifts or baby showers or whatever. So it was really wonderful to um, find a cause that I could make them for. So yeah, I think it's very beneficial for me and that's the wonderful thing when something that's beneficial for you is also beneficial for somebody else, which is to me what quilting is. I believe that I've made 66 quilts for Sleep in Heavenly Peace and I think if I add it up, it's one every 12 days. <laughs> which is a little bit crazy, actually. I am maybe a little obsessed. I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> when they take quilts and then when they install them in, in uh, the people's homes, they send me a photograph of the child receiving the quilt. And there is nothing better than seeing a kid sitting on their bed with, with something that you've made there, even though I've never met them. One day Jim sent me this picture of um, this little guy and uh, he's jumping on the bed and they happen to catch him right when he's up in the air and uh, it's my quilt underneath him and yeah it just made me so happy. They're very clever to send me those pictures uh, because that keeps me, keeps me uh, going. I just want to get right back down and start another one. That's the beauty of it to me, right? Is that it's serving so many different purposes at the same time. It's not just some selfless act I do for somebody else. It also serves me. I think that's true of, of any good calling in life, you know, is that it makes the world a better place, but it also uh, fulfill, is fulfilling to me as well. My favorite part is always the part I haven't gotten to yet because I, I think I like the cutting out until I'm doing it and I, and I hate it. And then I think I like the piecing on the machine and I'm like, when am I gonna get this finished? And I think I like the hand quilting, but it seems to take forever and I really do hate doing the binding. So, you know, no, I don't like any part of it apparently, but I love <laughs> any one part of it. <laughs> I must, <laughs> I must enjoy it. Um, no, I do, I do enjoy it.